Well again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the DEPS TECH brand, their industrial endoscope. This is 5.5 millimeter diameter camera, which is incredibly small. It's amazing that they can get a camera, HD camera, and all the electronics in there and have a totally waterproof IP67 also. So this is a boroscope, our inspection camera, has a 4.3 inch diagonal screen and you can see it is powered right now and showing me whatever is in front of this lens right here. This has a 16.5 foot semi-rigid cable and includes a 32 gigabyte card and a bunch of tools right here that we're going to show what's for. USB uh, charging cable and a little user manual right there. So as I mentioned, this is 5.5 millimeter ultra thin probe or, or 0.21 of an inch uh, so that it allows you to inspect very, very narrow things. We're going to be demonstrating that. I'm going to be uh, showing it a real narrow pipe and also my sink and some parts of my car. So wherever you're trying to look at, um, it's going to allow you to observe that in a really small form profile. It's really impressive. And then th this you can just snake into pipes, drains, uh, openings of cars, sinks, anywhere. And with these little tools right here, sometimes you want to clear your sink out and it just might take something with a magnet. So it has a magnet attachment, it might be a hook just pulling some food or a ring or something out of your sink. So not only do you able to look, but you can use these tools right here. And uh, the, that IP67, that waterproof, applies to this cable and it ends right here. So this is not IP67, but it is pretty water resistant looking, but you don't want to get water and immerse this. Um, you, will, you will damage it. The focal range, uh, of, of the camera is 1.96 inches away up to uh, and that's uh, five uh, centimeters so that's the point where it starts to focus and then it goes you know basically almost to infinity and uh, that's what's nice about these cameras they have a really wide dynamic range we're going to demonstrate that so that you can see things close and th see things far away also and this is a, a true clear screen and it is color 4.3 inch and uh, has a horizontal view angle about 170 degrees the scope camera can capture true 1080p crisp pictures uh, actually when I mentioned the LED lights there's six adjustable there's six LED lights and three brightness levels there's an internal battery in here that you're going to charge for the USB cable. And uh, this has some advanced electronics in there. And uh, it adopts the second CMOS chipset, which supports the highest recording frame rate. And there's no picture delay in here, which is really nice. So this is a next generation product. So this company is once you 100% satisfied the DEPS TECH with this snake camera and they offer a full 24 month warranty. So if I just want to go over the technical specs of this, the monitor is 4.3 inch super LCD screen, camera diameter is 5.5 millimeters or 0.21 of an inch. The resolution is 1920 by 1080. The horizontal viewing angle is 70 degrees. The focal distance is uh, well, 1.96 inches or five centimeters. Uh, the battery duration is three to four hours and uses five volts or two amps, that's the charging input. And it is IP67 waterproof, this probe and this cable has six LEDs and three adjustable brightness levels. And the cable length is 16.5 feet or five meters. So on the bottom of the unit, there is a label right there letting you know that the SD card is already installed and it is pushed in place and is being used right now. That other connection right there is your micro SD card and there is a little LED red light right there that comes on when you're charging and that light will go off. That, that light blinks while you're charging and that light stops blinking when it is fully charged. Let you know that you're fully charged. 
This is a nice silicone cover. You put that back on there and then you can remove that label if you'd like. And the unit's real simple. I just hit the power switch for a couple of seconds and that's what put the camera on. Now I want to show you something about the, the image and the focus. So I've got this instruction sheet right here and we could see the illumination of it and you could see the letters right there that if I go about a little less than two inches away it starts to focus and I can also point the camera at things that are further away like my USB port right there and it all stays in charge and clarity really nicely. I'm even looking at the inside of the USB port right there which is pretty cool. And then here is the plug right here and it can go right inside it. Now I've got camera studio lights on so it kind of is going to overpower the light on here. But uh, once we try it in the different things we're going to try you're going to see how well that really works. So it's real simple operation to use this. You have pictures on the right here and you have video on the left. So if we hit this button right here, it took a picture and this little symbol right here has a little red blinking. See that? So that's taking pictures of my studio lighting right there. You can see right there. And uh, if you're seeing a flickering, it's because of the studio lights. You won't see that once this is in something that you're inspecting. Now if you want to shoot video, you hold this button down right here and then you get the little red ball right there and a little video symbol and it starts to give you a timing function right there. And now we're actually shooting video of my face in this case, but it's actually shooting video. So if you want to stop the video, you hold this button down and then the video stops and it goes back to pictures. Now if you want to uh, swing the image 180 degrees, there's a 180 degree button right there. And that's handy so that you don't always have to worry about the position of this, the rotational position like that. You can give yourself a break and rotate 90 degrees, which will help you a lot of situations. And then you have a menu button right here, and that allows you to pick all the various things. These buttons here allow you to move down and scroll so you can see language, auto power off. You could format the SD card right there, which I'd recommend you do right away. You can reset the whole system. You have time setting, space, version numbers right there. So you have a lot of uh, control of what you want. And uh, hit the menu button again and it goes away. Now let's say we want to look at what we've recorded. So there's a little play button right there. Let's hold this down. And now you get the little play symbol. And you could play that video that I took. So now it's no longer the image, but now it's actually the video that I took that you could hit pause. And then you could move across and you could see pictures or video just like that. So it'll show when it's a picture on here, it'll display it and it'll display whether it's a video and you have a choice of watching either one. So that's nice. So you're going to see an instant uh, image or video of what you recorded. What's really nice about these is that you don't have to worry about having your mobile phone involved. Like a lot of them use your mobile phone and the Wi-Fi and all the delays and everything. There's no delay here. So that's really nice. You can also hit the menu button and you could name, if you want that video, you can name each one so that you could recognize them. Let's go over what's included in the accessory kit in this little holder. So you have all these screw on. This is just a cover that you can put on to protect the light and the lens if you want. This right here, you could screw this on and it's a magnet and you see it picks up. So a lot of times you might have something in a sink that's magnetic. And it also includes that little reset tool right there. If you have to reset the device, there is a reset button 
on the bottom of the device for that. And then you have this simple hook, and a hook could be great to pull debris out of a sink or a ring. And then you have this cool 90 degrees little front surface mirror, and what that does is that allows you to that allows you to put this on, and then you have 90 degrees image right there. So now you're looking at the side walls of a pipe for as an instant. And uh, that's going to come in handy for a lot of applications also. Now these attachments work. You unscrew this cap that comes with the boroscope. And then you put on the attachment you want. So it's all threaded. I want to point out that on that 90 degree attachment, there is a little blue cover to protect the lens. You have to carefully remove that before you use that 90 degree. And then it allows you to see everything at 90 degrees. Now anytime you want to adjust the brightness of those six LEDs, there is a brightness control right here. So you have zero on the first level, second level, and third level of brightness. So you have full control of how much light you're going to need. And that's going to vary depending on what you're observing. And of course, there's a display on there, which does show you the amount of lights so that you know, just looking at it when you touch that button right there. Now, ergonomically, this is really nice. The display is nice. And then on the back of the unit, it has this area right here where your hand could grab the device and it feels really comfortable to hold this so that you don't get fatigued when you're running the snake through something. Really nice design. And this end of comes with these two nice Velcro straps so that you could properly close this coil up after you use it. I'm going to give an example in my studio here of using this endoscope. I have a really thin aluminum small pipe and the opening on this is really small and let's, um, we need to inspect the inside of this so we're going to take the endoscope and we're going to place it on the inside of this right here and right away I can see the whole image of that pipe inside here pretty impressive so you can see that it's clear and it's actually showing me the walls and the end so right here is the end you can see where I'm putting my hand right there so it's showing you the whole image perspective and then you can rotate now if you want to look at the videos and pictures that you took, hold it in on the screen. I will shut the unit off and then remove the micro SD card by pushing it gently and it comes out. And you can see the contacts face the screen. And then you can put it into a uh, micro SD card reader and get it onto your Mac or your PC that way, the video and picture files. And now they're available on your. PC or Mac and you could watch them in full screen if you want. So here's my furnace and sometimes you want to inspect the jets that do the fuel and you want to inspect past them. So this is the perfect tool for that. So I'm going to uh, unwind the cable a little bit start recording now we could look inside the chamber you can see all the rust in there
and it goes pretty far in there. So there's the chamber where the heat exchanger is right there. So when I go to clean that out, I can inspect to make sure I'm cleaning it. You can see the rust in there. So I would never be able to see this view of this without having this inspection camera. Pretty amazing. And I can inspe inspect the front part of the jets also right here. See what's going on with them. And now you can see it goes through. And I can see if the opening is okay right there. I can rotate. I'm just look at that view right there. That's just showing me everything. That's so impressive. So what do I think about the DEPS TECH brand, their industrial endoscope with that very tiny 5.5 millimeter diameter, the 1080p HD digital boroscope inspection camera with that 4.3 inch LCD screen and the IP67 waterproof snake. This is a cool product. You're going to find a lot of times that you're going to be able to use this to fix something, to see something that you just don't use. It's not possible to see. With that small diameter, you're going to be able to get into anything and inspect it. And with those attachments, you're going to be able to solve some of your sink problems that are going to occur over the years. So I really like this product. It seems to be really well constructed. I'm going to give it a full five star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you alert to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented will help you with your buying decisions. Thank you for watching.